respect and flexibility are the two needs we all have across our lives, both personal and professional. Yes, there are others as well, but things change. Some people want a title in an office, a corner office. Some want a large salary and an even bigger bonus. Others want corporate cards and cars and trips and travel and what right? Motivations differ based on our character, our integrity, our upbringing, and where we are in our lives and our careers. Things you wanted at 20, things I wanted at 20 at all at 30, or didn't at 30, and I'm not going to at 40, and probably will be quite different at 50. And that's normal. We all change, we all evolve, we all grow, and our priorities and our focus and our attention are also expected to change along the way. But two things I found that everyone really wants and needs desperately is respect and inclusion, being really truly part of the team, not kept on the outside, and two, flexibility. Don't force your people just because that's how we've always done it. Do not force your people to always check in at the same time, to always be seated at their desks or in their offices nine to five, Monday through Friday, to always take their lunch breaks 12 to one or 12.30 to 1.30. Give people some flexibility. Now, if you have a customer facing operation and somebody has to be there to open the door, yes. But if you have a team of 10 who are doing that, maybe two or three of them can come in a bit later on Mondays and Tuesdays and different three or four can come in a bit later on Thursdays and Fridays and so forth, or stay a bit later, or leave earlier and come earlier, or alternate their schedules. Allow the team to live and breathe on their own. Obviously, as long as they're not performing or doing anything that's illegal or unethical, allow people this freedom and this empowerment through flexibility. They want to work from home and you know they can because today is the day when they're going to answer emails and make 10 phone calls to vendors and partners and clients. Do they have to drive in and spend an hour in traffic so they can sit in an office and do the same thing they could have done from home or from a coffee shop from somewhere else? The answer is no. So no matter what you do, in order to build high-performing teams and attract top talent, make sure to always give people the respect they need and deserve. Give them the respect. If they lose it, that's on them. But don't start saying, you need a year or two to gain my respect and trust, because we're all the same. And on the other hand, provide flexibility and opportunities to folks to find their own place within your business, within your organization, and therefore contribute to their highest potential towards everyone's collaborative and cooperative success. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.